I'm going to demonstrate today how to use pan pastels. I'm going to use a white pan pastel, a small brush to weather this uh, CP rail cylindrical grain car. Pick up a little of the pastel on the brush and just start to wipe across like this. Don't be too concerned at this, this stage what it looks like. Uh, what we're trying to do here is just trying to get some some powder on to start to simulate the oxidization of the paint. And you can see how quickly it's uh, it takes effect. And uh, we can use a, a larger brush and nothing fancy, just a, an IKEA brush is fine and just swipe across and down. And you'll see that the uh, the powder from the pastel just naturally drops into the various crevices on the car. And don't forget weathering happens in a very random um, pattern, nothing nothing the same and it's as, essentially it's it's as simple as that you can use a uh, um, a makeup uh, sponge uh, just to to wipe some of the powder away And all we've done is just used one colour. So the colour you use uh, depends really on the background colour of the car. So in this case we've got a black car and we started off using a white uh, powder which is lighter than the background colour. So what do we do in the case of a, of a white background. Well if we use white it's not going to show. It's just going to dull it down a little bit. If we start to use something like a, um, a darker grey um, the effect then is the effect then is to use using the same brush a little bit of grey and just wiping over the white. And all I'm doing is dulling it down. That's all I'm trying to do is just dull okay, so I'm um, brushing a dark color onto a white uh, background will tend to to dull it down um, a little bit. The brushing alone isn't going to dull it enough. So what I found is I use a little piece of sponge and a little of the powder and the effect now is to try to actually smudge. What I'm doing is I'm smudging the colour as opposed to just brushing it on. And you'll see it, it, is, it is starting to dull it down. Uh, a lot more than it was. Uh, so a little sponge, a little powder and again it's a wiping motion will smudge the the powder um, into into the surface. So to further enhance the the effect of the weathering process to, to actually add a little more colour is I'm going to use a, um, a sort of a rusty colour which is burnt umber. I'm going to use the, uh, the brush 
to start with. I'm just going to pick up some of the powder on the brush and don't worry about where it goes. Uh, it's just going to... All, we, all we're trying to do here is just get, get some streaking here and there, just a few places, just to give a hint of, of rusting on the surface. That's all we're trying to do. And again, I'll use the, the big brush and I'll wipe across. And the more, the more you sort of experiment doing this, uh, the more you'll get to some, some really nice effects happening. It is a very, very subtle process. Um, you can start to see um, here we're starting to pick up a nice sort of contrast between the, a little bit of rust, some, uh, some white uh, weathering and oxidization, and this lovely little streak mark here, uh, which is also remember that when it rains, rain runs down. So it will tend to run and give these lovely uh, streak marks. Now, I'm going to try to um, tone that uh, white lettering of CP Rail down a little bit more. And I'm going to use the, the sponge, some white, and I'm really going to tone that down quite a lot. And then use the, the brush to brush that down and further just take a little bit off here and there so it doesn't look too even. The, the trick here is to make it look as random as possible. Uh, you can also use a little bit of the rust just here and there and just just brush it down and that's that's essentially it uh, it starts to take effect very quickly okay so I wanted to further enhance that uh, rust streaking effect on the uh, just around the logo area just giving a little more dimension and you see I'm alternating between the the white and the rust just brushing it over um, and then of course I always like to use the, uh, the larger brush just to just to blend it in I think it's very important to remember that weathering is a, a very subtle blending process as opposed to just painting colour on. And um, just a little more smudging of that. Bring the, the dimension up a little more. And that, in my opinion, is a nicely weathered car. And of course, don't forget the top of the car. That also needs, um, that needs weathering as well. There would be splodges of, of colour on that. And again, it's a it's a very subtle a blending process. Just applying some 
some white pan pastel uh, chalk and then using the brick brush just very lightly brushing it over and there we have it the finished car weathered and in my opinion I think it looks very subtle and very believable.